let's learn how to make the flip text effect using Kittle. All right, to successfully achieve the flip text effect, we're gonna go here to the settings window and we are going to turn on the grid. So we're gonna switch on the grid and then you can make this as little or as much as you want to, but I'm keeping it here at this default amount because what we're going to do is use the boxes to determine our height. So what I'm gonna do is choose my font you want to choose your font first before you start going and making the flip text effect because this is really going to depend on your height so you see here I'm scaling this up to equal four boxes vertically so I'm using the grid to align with the four boxes and then what I am going to do is make sure it's in the center of course and I'm going to bring this up to start working on the effect I'm going to make sure that it's again directly in between the four boxes and then what I'm going to do is using the distort transformation I am bringing each side the left and right side in one box you can hold shift make sure you don't start distorting it all over the place so then let's duplicate our text okay so we can do that with the alter option key and dragging now what we do is grab the left and right point and bring it up one box so for the first one we brought it in one box and for the next one we're bringing the bottom three anchor points inward now let's replicate the process again alter option key and dragging we'll hit edit transform and we'll bring it up one more box so you can already see how this kind of isometric looking effect is taking place using the distort the distort transformation again holding shift to make sure we don't start distorting all over the place and then we'll do it one more time we duplicated our text hold shift and drag up to one block so this is where we'll end because we have nowhere else to go because we've used the grid and brought it all the way up to one box high so now once we get this exactly how we want it using the grid here we can start adjusting the spacing because the spacing is a little awkward here so it doesn't really give off the flip effect so what we need to do is bring all of the text closer to each other like this and then we need to start working on our gradient kind of lower opacity faded effect so I'll select the text color I'll go here to solid and change it to gradient color and as soon as I do that what it's going to do is apply a black but I'm just going to make both of them white I'm going to select the bottom one and take off the color so the top one which is on the far right needs to stay white or whatever color you're going to use and the bottom one needs to be turned off so after you have this done successfully all you have to do is grab the other text blocks go to the group colors and just select the gradient swatch that you just made so I just selected that same gradient swatch and then we're going to grab all of this, hold the alter option key and drag, right click on the new group, and then we're going to hit flip vertical. And what this will do is show a direct opposite flip of the text that is above. And then what we can do is start playing with our color. So we can select the top color there in the gradient, and we can select a whole bunch of different colors or even start mixing and matching colors to make some beautiful designs like this right here that you see on the back of this hoodie. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and can't wait to see what you make with the flip text effect.